The curve to Bezier mesh shop allows you to convert a modal curve into a Bezier curve. In the first example, we'll create a new modal curve. Then we'll add a curve to Bezier mesh shop to convert it to a Bezier. Now that it's been converted, we have handles for each vertex. Inside the parameters for the curve to Bezier mesh shop, we can control the tangent length. In this second example, we have these rings here that are being plugged into the mesh data array to create a new array, and then that goes into the create polygon and creates a new curve. And since we're creating this procedurally, anytime we move those rings, we'll also move the curve. One thing that doesn't happen with this current setup is that if we select the circle, we cannot rotate it and have the direction or vector follow the circle. But we can change that. We select the mesh item that has the generated curve in it, and then add the mesh op curve to Bezier. We'll do as we did before by converting that curve into a Bezier curve. The difference here is that we'll add in this node into the schematic view, and you'll see we get a different parameter that's not available in the mesh shop called tangent normals. And so if we take the normal array from the mesh data array and plug that into the tangent normals, now when we select those circles, we can move and rotate. The curve also follows the normal direction of those circles. That was the curve to Bezier mesh op in Moto 13.